okay so this is my pop-up and I would try to take screenshot of this see that this was the error you get when you don't stop your Appium server maybe that will be rectified in the future releases but for now when you get this kind of error please don't panic so that means I have not started I have not stopped my Appium server you should stop it click on control C right that's it it will get stopped and now click on OK you see that when you stop your server even this goes down and go again select preferences preference dependencies um, Wi-Fi yeah now take a screenshot that should work perfect now I want to enter into this pop-up when you spy on it you see with a red mark you have something called edit text okay so you know how to identify this in the last lecture we have done with ID we have done with X paths so identifying attribute value and we have done with index also and this lecture we will try to use with a class name okay class name is unique here I'm pretty sure why because there is only one edit box here if there are multiple edit boxes I'm pretty sure that that will have multiple instances even if there are multiple instances now we know how to identify it uniquely with the help of XPath by providing specific index okay so this is the unique and I would say one more object locator is driver dot find element with what is that class name right yeah you see that class so I am saying to a driver go and identify the element which have class name of this Android widget text so once you identify what you need to do here okay do you need to click on it no you need to enter some text into that box so how do you send values into that box so there is a command called send when you type s e you would see something like this send keys so that means send characters into that edit box so whatever you define here these characters will be entered into this Wi-Fi setting edit text okay that's it it's very simple if you want to click on it use click but if you want to type something into that edit box then go with dot send keys perfect come down so you have seen class name ID export cool and I want to click on now OK button right OK so when you click on OK uh, what happens here and click on cancel uh, ID is different right and click on OK again yep ID changes but class name package remains same so let's try something different I can simply say driver dot find element by dot ID and as IDs are different when I say uh, when I give this command dot click it clicks on it no let's try some different strategy which you are which you know you can try it out so all these are four different ways if you see that the first one will identify using a text right and second locator is identifying using ID and this locator is identifying using XPath index and this is with only XPath and this is with class name so here I'm trying to make you familiar with all the possible ways in identifying an object in the mobile I can simply wrap the sessions with identify with ID go on clicking in okay but tomorrow when you came up with a situation where you don't have an ID so you should not you know go with a blank face so that's the reason I'm trying to put all the possible combinations you can do you can play around to identify an element in mobile so I will try I'll tell you one more combination here so though ID is unique in this scenario let's say cancel button 2 ok button 1 let's assume there is no ID itself again there is only class defined for the two buttons ok because I have seen lot of real time cases based upon that I am saying let's say oh, there is only class name and unfortunately class name is unique I mean class name is duplicate for the two buttons ok and cancel there is the same class name and no text no resource ID 
so these are unique i can use it simply to identify it let's leave out for some time i have only class so how to identify it so you might be telling that hey we can do that with an xpath slash slash tag name and use an index and you can click on it perfect this is one of the way of handling it when you have a duplicate instances and you have an another way also i'll tell you that even so for that you need to say driver dot when you are when you are pretty sure that you have multiple objects with the same class name then you ask the driver to identify all so how do you say then you say driver dot find elements not element if you carefully observe here these all are singular that means it returns only the first result when you provide the xpath id or something like that but when driver identifies multiple results in that mobile page it would return only the first result because i am saying singular find only element but if you want to return all the results whatever the xpath identified when it went to mobile if it want to return all that then you need to say find elements plural you see that uh, yeah find elements okay i'll go with class name because i my class name have uh, only class name is defined i am just assuming that instance right so what happened here so i this step grabbed all the elements with the class name of this so that means it grabbed two elements okay so in the result there are two elements now in that two elements i want to click on second one right for that case click on dot and you have something called get give this command so from the two elements get me the second element and then click on it perfect see how cool it is so these are the two ways step number 30 step number 32 where you can handle if there are duplicate instances here before i am asking to identify second element directly so when it control goes to mobile when it have multiple results it picks the second but here first of all i am asking to bring down all the elements okay i will decide what to bring in my test case so with the when i say find elements it brings everything to my test so thereafter from that test i am picking out the second one and clicking on it and this is also one of the way to identify okay so all these are the different combinations i try to explain so so these weapons are enough for you to rock on when you identify the objects there is one more concept called ui automation which i will be telling in the next sections okay but basic these are the basic things you need to know how to identify with index, IDs, class names, xparts and when you have multiple xparts and when you have find elements, multiple classes and you can use all the combinations to identify the test. Okay, so you all your concentration should be on this first five attributes, text, resource, ID, class, package. So once you have this, first of all have an idea how it looks, is the duplicate or unique. If it is duplicate, come back and see what step will make this to identify it and use this as a reference that's it you can automate any object okay still not over it's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot in rpm i'm just saying basic like how to click and how to send keys and this is the main challenge you know people face lot of problems in the step one so once you are clear with that rest is cakewalk okay so let's run the program and see how it is going before we wrap up this session okay so where is my mobile okay i am unchecking it right now i can also explain uh once you check in next time it will be already check in mode right so you need to uncheck it before you do that i would tell you in the next lecture so meanwhile let me run this test run as java application click on ok and this is your app where is your logs logs are the most important you know, I cannot identify anything without seeing the logs. Okay, let's see. Preferences, preference dependencies, Wi-Fi selected setting, enter hello. Is it entering? Uh, yep, entered. It clicked on hello and see that script failed. It did not click on OK button. If you see clearly, it did not handle it. 
let's see it entered hello and a script saying java 32 is the failure exception and in thread index out of bound okay got it i got the error see there are two results written right so first result will be stored in the zeroth index and the second result will be stored in the first index okay zero and first are the both indexes where the results are stored but i am asking to bring out the second index which doesn't exist say one so that if you want to return the first result keep this remem remember this always if you want to return the first result get of zeroth index if you want to second get of one if you want third get of two it's just like array so in my case i want second one so get of one but i have given two that's the reason script got failed okay if you want to try out again um, okay let's try what's there what's the wrong in doing that so let me see our preference dependencies here yeah, all set one final time just to go on a happy note and in the next lecture we will learn one more new concept called android ui automator okay sounds good click on wi-fi setting and enter hello you see that it's trying to enter okay click done okay perfect it written 200 pass awesome we have successfully done end-to-end -end test case we have entered something send keys we have clicked on all the locator objects so that's pretty much about this lecture in the next lecture we will learn few more concepts okay thank you